Hey, how's it going? This is Steve. This is Josh with Sports GCC, and this is This Week in Football. Starting off with the Redskins versus the Giants. This is going to be Josh Norman versus Odell Beckham Jr. And last time these two met up, they walked away with both of them being ejected. What do you think? Another fight this week? I'm thinking another fist fight between them. I'm looking forward to it personally. Looking forward to go five rounds. <laughs> Maybe they'll remove the helmet so they don't break their hands on the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kind of need those to play. So, And Josh Norman has been under a lot of scrutiny lately because the way that the Redskins actually play, he just lines up on one side of the field, and coincidentally, that ends up being not covering the best player on the team. I don't know if that's going to change for this game. I'm not sure. But I think for this game, the Giants walk away with a win, probably by about two touchdowns. And I think Odell walks away with one big play on Josh Norman. I'm going to say Odell Beckham Jr. run to the other side of the field where he is, face him man to man every single time, and see just who's better. That's really what you got to do. I believe the Giants will take this victory very easily, actually. Probably by at least two scores. So, on to the next game, the Battle of Pennsylvania. Both teams, the Steelers and the Eagles, are undefeated right now and are just really kind of rolling. I mean, uh, rookie QB Carson Wentz is looking like a veteran in the league, and Roth Roethlisberger and backup running back D'Angelo Williams are just flying high right now. Um, so I'm really actually looking forward to this game. It's either going to be the Terrible Tau or the Dirty Bird. My guess is still going to be the... Mm, I'm going to change it. Terrible Tau. Because they're just looking really, really ridiculously good. So that's where I'm going with. What do you say? Uh, actually, this, I didn't think the Eagles were going to start off well. With the rookie QB, it never seems to work out. And considering they were in the Toilet Bowl game two weeks ago. But... <laughs> They've been playing good. They've climbed out of the toilet bowl. And I don't want to see Antonio Brown celebrate again the way he did. I'm actually going to give it to the Eagles. You don't want to see him shake his butt, man. No, man. No twerking, uh, man. That's what I was looking Something forward to. Something suspect about that. <laughs> That's why I picked them. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next game, we have Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit Lions. Packers, they barely escaped the Jaguars in the first game. And last week, they lost to the Vikings. You realize the Vikings have Sam Bradford on their staff. The, the highest play paid injured player in the league. <laughs> I don't know. Tony Romo can give him a run for his money on that one. With Jordy Nelson in the system, that was their excuse last year. They didn't have Jordy Nelson. They weren't clicking everything. And he's been back and the offense has been shaky. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to give it to the Lions. It, it hurts to say this because I, I like Aaron Rodgers, but I think they lose by a field goal. Uh, they they got Prater on the Lions. He saved them that first week. I think he's going to boot one maybe with about two to three minutes left, and that's how they're going to win. Yeah, I know I was quoted last week saying how the Packers are flying high with their offense is clicking, and then they just go and do that to me last week. That was just miserable. However, I'm just still going to stick with the Cheeseheads. I'm going with the Pack. They're, they're, they had a Hail Mary against the Lions last year and had two of them against the Cardinals as well. But I don't think they had, they, didn't they have the replacement refs? Wasn't no. that the reason? Oh, was that the year prior? Or was that the year before? I don't even know, actually. I know they had a Hail Mary last year, though. I think, I think they, they had two of them. Hail Mary every single season? Yeah, they're going to probably have <laughs> another Hail Mary. So, I'm going with the Packers. Our next game is Broncos versus the Bengals. The Broncos are undefeated with seventh round draft pick Trevor Simeon from 2015. How are they doing it? Simple defense. That is it. <laughs> That's it. Just that defense the, the and defense just running the ball. <laughs> and running the ball. The receivers haven't even had a 100-yard game yet. Neither of the receivers, none of the receivers have had a 100-yard game. So pretty simple what they're doing. Running the ball and just playing good defense can really get you to playoffs and possibly a championship. Simple recipe for success. Exactly. Um, if it's working, why why bet, bet, bet against it? Just allow your defense to just shut down other teams, run the ball, little screens. If it works... Yeah, Von Miller really is sticking up with what he uh, got with his contract and making every penny count because he's having a great season so far. I want to say Bengals because they have A.J. Green, and he is ridiculously good. But I don't know. I think the Broncos, just they're just looking like a really good team right now. So I'm going to go with the Broncos. Well, you're looking at the Bengals. 
They're the second ranked passing offense in the league right now and the Broncos are the sixth ranked defense. I want AJ Green to, to take off, but you know they're gonna plan to shut him down specifically. I wanna give it to the Bengals, I really do. But that that defense is too strong for go the Broncos. With your heart. Yeah. Go with your, go with your gut. Uh, what did they do for you in week one, Steve? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> they won it for you. Oh, they won it for me? Because I chose the Panthers. Oh, and I chose the Broncos. You know what? I'm going to go with an upset. I'm going with the Bengals. <laughs> I'm going with the... <laughs> Andy Dalton, don't, 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 don't screw me over. Me <laughs> don't fail me. <laughs> oh, man. This is just so bad. This is just so I bad. I don't know if we even want to bring it up. Uh, I, I feel okay. bad. I feel like we're purposely roasting one specific team. Oh, we are. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go for the toilet bowl. It's our favorite part of the show. And I don't know how they're really here again, but they love this bowl. You know how every college team gets a bowl game? Well, this is their bowl game. The Cleveland Browns, the toilet bowl. They're back in it for the third straight week against an even almost worse team, the Miami Dolphins. It, it's just, it, it's gonna be, it's an absolute dumpster fire of a game <laughs> with a dumpster fire organization Ooh, in the Browns. Sponsored Don't. by Waste Management. <laughs> Sponsored by Waste Management is what they need to wear on their jerseys. This is literally going to be their fifth starting quarterback since last season, Week 16. Johnny Manziel, Austin, what's his name? Austin, Austin Davis. Austin Davis. Uh, and then you got RG3, Josh McCown, and now Cody da -da -da -da, Kessler. Cody Kessler. Who is that? <laughs> I have no I idea. No, they're running out of people. If I'm Johnny Manziel's agent, I'm getting him back on the squad somehow. Or, or, Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Mr. Dependable. That's who they need to be looking at right now. And he wins them games. That's all I can say. Right now they got, uh, what is it, the Jesus, the Jesus guy, what's his nickname? I think Hugh Jackson, the coach, went out and specifically brought in Charlie Whitehurst, a.k.a. the Clipboard Boy. Jesus. He's going to be doing a lot of praying on the sidelines yeah. because if this dude goes down, he's going to be the <laughs> six QB in, in five games. <laughs> Hugh Jackson has literally walked into Cleveland and pretty much immediately is already <laughs> looking to get out. This is bad. This is really bad. If somebody could Photoshop a picture of... Not even the Jordan meme faces on every one of the players, but the turd emoji on every <laughs> single player. It is just sad. It, it's just sad. But, I don't even know what else to yeah. say about this organization right now. <laughs> it, it's absolutely going downhill and fast. So, But obviously, there's no matter who faces the Browns, there's always the right answer. And it's never the Browns. And it's never the Browns. So it's sad. Even though Dolphins are coming off a failed comeback win against a third string QB from the Patriots last game. I'm going to go with the Dolphins to beat the Browns. It's it's just too easy. <laughs> you know, I'm I mean, one team will get a win. We are certain about that. Unfortunately, one of these teams will get a win. They both deserve to go over this whole season, but it's going to be Miami cuz Cleveland is just oof. I don't even know what to say anymore. There's not enough words in the thesaurus or to describe how atrocious the Browns are. <laughs> you traded up to draft Johnny Mansell, <laughs> and he partied his way back into school. <laughs> and they went out and spent so much money on RG3 just for him to get hurt. Literally got hurt the first game. And the guy, if not even that, Josh McCown got injured last year, wasn't enough, and did the helicopter spin in the end zone to get a concussion. <laughs> they brought him, he's back, and he's injured again. You know, I mean, you only look at the New England Patriots and think, wow, they really went down to the third string quarterback. Within the four weeks, they don't have the golden child of Tom Brady. And they're really just kind of sticking it to the NFL. Yeah, they are. On the other hand, you have the Browns, who's, well, taking a crap. Turd emoji, turd emoji, turd emoji. Because <laughs> that just shows you a difference of organization. And, well, Browns, you need to step it up. Now, that's actually going to conclude all of our predictions this week. But there is something I actually want to bring up. Now, with the Patriots have three wins under the belt, 
they just beat the Texans 27 to nothing on Thursday night. Is Tom Brady an average QB who just fell into the right hands? Does Bill Belichick deserve more credit or is it 50 50 because right now he's stride with drew bledsoe was doing good before he went down step in tom brady they won the super bowl that year and of course they've built a dynasty goes down matt castle then you have jimmy g i'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name garofalo <laughs> <laughs> and then brissett does good but he did get injured he, did. he, he got did. injured last they game they almost went to julian edelman so I think they should <laughs> just, to see. just to see just to just see to, just to throw it out there you never know what so after all this do you think Belichick deserves more credit or do you think these are just good players or is this the right system what what, what do you think me personally I mean coaching brings out the best and he brings out the best in his players um, so I'm, I'm going to give it to him but I think to keep everybody guessing they both retire at the same exact time and nobody ever knows <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you've seen belichick without brady now several games especially a whole season they went 11 and 5 with matt castle mm -hmm. but you've never seen brady without belichick so uh roger goodell don't suspend tom brady suspend belichick i want to see what happens <laughs> <So> <laughs> that's the only way they're going to take down the patriots all right then well we're just going to leave you off with that question Belichick or Tom Brady, who deserves more credit? And that's been all for this week in football. Have a good night. I still can't believe it. They're, sh they're such a shit organization. <laughs> like, when you really look at it, like, you just gotta be like, gosh, dang. <laughs> like, how fudge are we here? <laughs> like, the thing is, though, if somebody calls you and... Oh, if somebody said you gotta play for the Browns, then, uh, no, I'm not, I'm done.